Mi nombre es María Soledad Díaz González. My name Soy is María Soledad Díaz González. I am an agent of the municipality of Santo Domingo, Barrio Bajo. We are at the facilities of what is the sewer water treatment plant that belongs to the village of Etla, a community close to us and to a landfill. The reason why we are in the process of trying to avoid more pollution is that the treatment plants located here, there are two, don't work. Therefore, the water is practically without treatment and runs openly exposed polluting in our community. The same happens with the landfill that has no control and no adequate management of garbage. And these two factors together, both the treatment plants and the landfill, constitute dangerous sources of infection for our community. With this background, we had a general meeting with all the residents that live in this town. And later, we decided to block the access, so no more garbage could be thrown and in a way to call out the authorities in charge to find a solution in compliance with the environmental laws to avoid precisely what we are seeing here, right? It is very likely that our water wells will get polluted because this river of dirty water is half a kilometer long and flows into our community. This is why we are afraid that at any moment it can find its way to a water stream that supplies our well, polluting it. And this is the only well we have for human consumption. Therefore, we believe this situation is extremely serious. Right now, as a result of this meeting and the community mobilization, we are currently taking turns to guard this place to prevent that more garbage is being thrown. Therefore, we had to improvise a camp guard where we can be monitoring 24 hours a day, taking turns to protect this place and trying to find a solution. It has been a very difficult and exhausting process and very risky for our health because we are exposed to the fumes coming out of the landfill and the sewage. However, we consider that this process has to be done because it is of vital importance to protect the health of our people, the children, and future generations of our community, Santo Domingo Barrio Bajo. Over there, we have the landfill and the treatment plants. A fence was placed there to prevent people's access because it is dangerous for pedestrians to step on sewage water. Since it is a neighborhood path, it eventually had to be closed and blocked because it is flooded with sewage water. It was closed to prevent people risking contamination when they go by. Next to us, we have the municipal cemetery that on one occasion was also flooded with sewage water flooring the tombs of those resting in peace. And this is the cemetery where we place our watch camp from where we keep monitoring 24 hours a day. We built a fire here because this place is full of gnats and mosquitoes. And when it is cold, it helps us warm up so we are able to be here at night and at dawn. We prepare our meals here and we have improvised some spaces where we can rest. We want to prevent more garbage being thrown, right? It is the main objective, and we want to make clear our disagreement and the strong desire that a solution is reached. On July 29, it was two years since we started to monitor this situation. 
And during this time, the objective we propose has not been accomplished, and this is why we consider that it is only fair that this problem is solved after a two-year struggle.